Hi, Dr. Romano. Hannah Wynn from the DAT study group on Facebook would like you to go over the solubility rules, and I would really like it if you did too for my dad. Sounds good. Come around. Miss Wynn asked a very good question, and I'd like to present the rules, and then I'll show you how we work with them. Now, there's six main rules you need for the dad, so let me get right to it. Anytime you see a group one ion, or ammonium ion, it's water soluble. Now what I mean by group one means if you see a, a, a lithium or you see a sodium, you see a potassium on a compound, you know it's gonna be water soluble, as well as ammonium. So that's an easy rule. All nitrates and acetates are soluble. All right, that's fair enough. So if it's got a 1A or group one metal, an ammonium, Nitrates, acetates, they're all soluble. All chlorides, bromides, and iodides are soluble unless combined with silver, mercury, or lead. So if I ever gave you silver chloride, that would not be soluble. But all chlorides, bromides, and iodides are soluble. Books always leave out fluorides. The bottom line on a fluoride is most fluorides are not very soluble unless group number one is in place, unless the fluoride has a group one ion on it or an ammonium, like ammonium fluoride. But generally speaking, fluorides, not so soluble. The next rule is sulfates are soluble as well, except if they contain the same evil trio of silver, mercury, lead, or I call this CABS, C-A-B-S, calcium, barium, and strontium sulfate would be not soluble. All right, fair enough, that's easy enough. All carbonates, phosphates, and sulfides are insoluble unless they contain a group one ion or ammonium. So if I gave you sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, Lithium phosphate, sodium sulfide, they would all be soluble. But generally speaking, they're all insoluble unless that condition is met. And the final rule is all hydroxides are insoluble. Except, of course, if it's got a group one ion attached or calcium, barium, and strontium hydroxide, which are reasonably soluble, although not great but we'll give it to him. Well, Dr. Romano, that looks a little crooked. What looks crooked? Over here? Yeah. Let me tell you something, young lady, what my professor from Germany once told me. It's not the cage that counts, but the little bird in the cage. You go home and think about that. Let's get back to the material. I'm gonna give you some examples, and we're gonna do them together, and you're gonna tell me, are they soluble or insoluble? Calcium carbonate. So if I said to you we had calcium carbonate, well, what does it say about carbonates? They're insoluble unless there was a group one metal attached or ammonium. I don't see that. I see calcium, so therefore this would be insoluble. B, sulfides are insoluble. According to rule number five, unless there was a group one metal, there is, so that would be soluble. This is a slam dunk, anything with ammonium on it. As you can see, anything with group one ion or ammonium is soluble. How about the next one, silver nitrate? Well, that's a slam dunk. Number two, all nitrates are soluble. How about silver bromide? Whoa, whoa, whoa. As you can see, chlorides, bromides, and iodides are soluble unless they got one of the evil trio attached. So silver bromide would be a precipitate, insoluble. Here's one you've never seen, but let's apply what we know. This is samarium 2 hydroxide. Well, hydroxides are insoluble unless you see a group one ion or CABS, calcium, barium, strontium. Well, I don't see calcium, barium, strontium, or 1A. Samarium is a transition element, so that would be insoluble. I hope you got that right. Let's try another one. This time I give you a reaction. Anytime you see an ion, it's aqueous. So you have a silver ion, a chloride ion, and a mixed silver chloride. Chlorides are all soluble unless you see silver. So that means that silver is insoluble. So notice I write an S here. Always confusing to kids. 
where if you look at number two, this time the, the chloride ion is going to combine with lithium to make lithium chloride. And according to group one or in group two, anything that's got a group 1A metal is soluble. So if it's soluble, I would know to write aqueous for my final product. How about three? Barium ion and sulfate ion forms barium sulfate. Well, what do we say about sulfates? They're all soluble unless silver, mercury, lead, calcium, whoa, barium. So barium would be a solid precipitate. And finally, the nickel ion plus two acetates to give nickel two acetate. Well, the rule number two said all acetates are soluble.